This video is going to be all about a quick hack for creating a template to create estimates or proposals in FreshBooks very quickly and on the go, especially from a mobile device like a tablet or a phone. I want you to use this hack because I think it will help drive sales in two ways. First, the estimates and proposals feature in FreshBooks will let you deliver a more pleasing user experience for your end customer that you're interacting with. And secondly, I want you to get your estimates into your customer's hands quickly, like in five minutes, instead of, oh, when I get back to the office, I'll send you my proposal. But we all know that you're not going back to your office anytime soon uh, because you're out working, right? This hack will help you be more like this business owner and not this business owner. <laughs> The origin of this video was born out of a conversation I was having with my FreshBooks Q&A group, uh, which you might want to consider joining because it's full of juicy and helpful stuff like this. And I can already hear the pushback, but Kate, all of my work is pretty different, so I'm not sure a template would work for me. But if you listen to the end of this video, I've got some advice to help you, Mr. Naysayer, too. Uh, hear me out, okay, because my job is to make your job easier, and I think this hack will make your job easier. The last intro comment I'll make uh, to tee up this video is that the entire philosophy of this hack is all based around this little button in FreshBooks, the duplicate button. So while this video is about estimates and proposals, when you are in FreshBooks, keep an eye out for this icon all over the place. And then as you lay in bed at night and your mind is spinning because all entrepreneurs lay in bed at night with their minds spinning, I want you to lay there and I want you to think about other places inside of FreshBooks where the developers have built a duplicate feature and think about how you can use that button as a hack for creating more efficiencies in your business. So let's dive into this hack for creating a template for your estimates and proposals in FreshBooks. So here are the general steps. You can come up with your own variation if you need to. So as of fall 2023, there is not a true concept of a template anywhere in FreshBooks. But when you are on your desktop and you go to the estimates link, um, why it isn't called estimates slash proposals, I don't know, because proposals are here too. Uh, you get this little additional link here called cre create from recent. And that is a fairly helpful button. It was the first thing they built to somewhat give some functionality that's similar to a template. It's not actually a template, but it's better than nothing. And it assumes that a previous estimate is close to what you're needing for your newest client. So this is a potentially useful button for you if you run your business not at client sites and at in-person sales meetings, but at your desktop computer. But the problem is we don't have that hyperlink on the mobile app. We don't have a create from recent button. So here's the hack. I do recommend starting this hack by sitting at your desk on your computer to set it up before using it on mobile. It will be easier with a mouse and a keyboard. So you're at your computer and you sit down and you open up a blank proposal. Get it perfectly polished, y'all. Get your legalese, your terms, your conditions, your blurb about how they would qualify for maybe discounts or bundles or whatever. Maybe a section on payments where you talk about paying 50% deposit to get started. Just think hard about what you want your headings to say and what order they should be in. Uh, your headings could be cute or you could take a more formal tone, uh, whatever your business vibe needs you to be. Uh, you can include pictures if that will help with sales. Make sure you pick a different start number than number one. So no, because no customer wants to know that you're their first customer. And make sure that all the settings options that you have on the right side are exactly how you want them to be. Basically, the more thought you put into it while you're sitting at your desk, the less you have to use your thumbs out at a client site. And I do have a full video about estimates and proposals that I'm popping up right now. So I'm not going to teach about the best practices for that for creating these things, but this particular video is, is assuming that you know how to create killer estimates and proposals already. So watch the other video that's popping up if you need to deep dive into estimates and proposals. So you're gonna need to create a client and you can call it, let's call it future client, something like that. And then when you're on your device, you can use the magnifying glass and search for the word future. And then all your template proposals for estimates will be filtered into view. And you just click into it and then you click the top three buttons and click the word duplicate. You change the client name. You do a quick visual scan to make sure that you don't need to add or delete anything that you and the client agreed on. And you come down to the items and services section and add anything unique or maybe increase your prices a little bit from the last time and voila. So that is how you have your reusable template to access from your mobile device. But I said I had info for you naysayers too, right? And you are thinking that you have too many different ways of working with clients that a template would never work. And allow me to issue my rebuttal. Could you create three, four, five, shoot, maybe even 10 templates 
that could then cover the vast majority of the ways that you work with clients. Let me talk through some examples so I can illustrate what I'm talking about. What if you have a painting company and you have a template for small residential job, large residential job, and commercial jobs? There you go. That's just three. Can everything fit in those three? Or maybe you're a high-end wedding photographer in Chicago and wealthy brides like to interview you in person. So you have your interview in person. And then what you do is you could present them a proposal to sign right then and there before you even leave. And you have maybe these four tiers that you can duplicate. You've got traditional local wedding package. And then you've got the wedding package of destination travel. And then you've got photography and videography concierge combo package. And then lastly, your high ticket offer is called the all-inclusive lovebirds package that includes engagement photos, rehearsal dinner photos, wedding photos, and 10 custom created social media reels. Would that cover most of what you do and simplify your sales process? Oh, by the way, here's my wedding photo and I love being married to him. My point is, can you come up with a few templates to cover most of what you do? Do you follow me? Just apply this idea to your specific business and the more you can templatize things, the more efficiencies you can create. Don't be afraid of saying, this is how I work. I do these three, four, or five things. And can you find that middle ground between offering completely bespoke services while at the same time letting FreshBooks help you build some repeatable systems and processes into your business? All right, that's a wrap here. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. After you figure out how to use this specific hack, don't forget to think about how you can use the other duplicate buttons in FreshBooks to your advantage. Now, YouTube should be telling you which of my other videos you need to be watching next. It should be popping up. Uh, but I'm even better at knowing exactly what kind of help you need. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have a question about your FreshBooks. I can be your full-blown bookkeeper. I can offer one-on-one -on -one trading. I can offer diagnostic reviews of your FreshBooks file. And I always have my office hours available if you're just needing a bookkeeper keeper in your back pocket for when you have questions arise. And my last tip for you is to check out my resource link below of free resources that I've pulled together to help you do your bookkeeping on FreshBooks. Seriously, go click it right now. It's in the video description. When you're ready for help, you can always find me at heritagebusinessservices.com. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help businesses build their business legacy.